Hi, welcome to this video. This one's about the dispersion of light. So how to split white light up into the different wavelengths that it's made of. And you can see I've got this set up in the lab here with a lamp. Um, I'll talk about what the plastic sheet is doing in a moment. Um, a tank of water in a prism shape. And then if I just move up there, you can see I've projected a rainbow across the classroom onto the wall there. And I'll show you that in a bit closer up in a moment. But let's just have a look at the setup. Um, this is a large demonstration version of something that you might do on a small scale with a ray box and a, and a small prism. But what you can see here is I've got a bright bulb in a holder. So this is actually just a bright halogen bulb. It's probably not going to come out very well, but it's a normal bulb holder. And I've made the room pitch dark, blacks it out. If you've got a brighter lamp, such as a, an overhead projector bulb um, or old overhead projector that you can, you can use, that, that works really, really well. But um, there are precious few of those kicking around now. But what I have managed to find is, um, is this plastic sheet just here. This plastic sheet here is um, the old, uh, uh, an old plastic uh, lens, essentially, from an overhead projector. It's actually a Fresnel lens, I think. Uh, what I'm using it to do is um, the light beams coming out in lots of different directions from the bulb here. And this is essentially making the path of all those beams go uh, in the direction that I'm pointing on the video there. We call it a, a collimator. And that's important as well, um, as I'll show you in a second. And then this is a triangular plastic tank filled with just water. And um, we've got it arranged, if I look at it down on there, so that the beam of light, look, is passing through here. It's coming to the, coming through to the um, prism here. It's refracting through the prism and it's coming out in this direction over here. Um, the joy of this is, if I just walk you over to where it's projecting across the lab, if I, if, I, if I go closer, you'll be able to see that all the colours of the, of the white light, the colours of the rainbow, are really, really visible, nice and visible, even more so than it looks on the video, actually. It's really vivid and bright in real life. And what I've done is I've taped to the wall where I'm projecting it, a diagram showing the wavelength of the different colours. So red on the left, and blue on the right. I've written that on the board just so students can see that long wavelength is red and short wavelength is, is blue. And I can obviously put my hand in the beam um, and anything else that I want to do in the beam. And it's a really nice demonstration of the colours of the rainbow. So just wanted to show you that and I uh, hope you found that useful as a demonstration on the dispersion phenomena of light.